Using a macro lens should be the wet dream of any underwater photographer. Even if you have a simple acrylic housing like this one, and even if you're new, uh, you should fairly quick uh, consider to do some macro. First of all, you get close to the subject and you get a better image quality by doing that. Also, it's a lot easier to do a macro because you're close and you don't have to move so much. It's easier to light even if you just have a small dive light. Um, but you need, of course, to have an external wet macro lens. It could be one like this and it has an M67 thread, which you would normally screw onto the port like that here. Um, and then starts to do some uh, underwater shooting underwater, of course. Um, but what happens if you have that new branding in front of you and you realize you do not want that uh, close uh, magnification, you don't just want the, the head of the new branding, you would like the whole new branding, so you need to take the lens off underwater. And you can do that, you could place it in a lens holder. The rule is that once you have a lens, you also have a lens holder if you get underwater, because putting one of these in the pocket I mean, it's a good idea if you want to buy a new one with me shortly because you will lose it, that's for sure. There's a couple of solutions how not having to take the lens off and put it on the lens holder. And one of them is a flip adapter like this one. This one is also from Seafrox. It's a lens, it's a flip 81, it's called, uh, from Seafrox. Uh, and the idea is just to use the M67 thread and screw that one in and tighten it very good. And there we go. Then you just have another M67 thread that sits here that can flip up and down. And in that you mount the wet lens. See, here we go. So now you can easily do the wet lensing, the, the macro wet lensing in front of the camera housing and take the pictures you want. And once you want to do a slightly uh, heavy magnification, you take it up like that. And uh, you can tighten the bolt here a little bit so it gets stuck here when you leave it. And then you can take pictures without the wet lens. Um, it's very simple and this is one of the best and most affordable solutions that I've seen and that I sell. Uh, so that's why I highly recommend it to, to all people that do macro. Also, these uh, acrylic dome housings, they have, an acryl they have a PVC or acrylic thread. It's not an aluminum thread and if you have to take an underwater lens on and off underwater too many times. There's a bit of sand in the in the thread. You can actually wear it down uh, after a while and it, it, it gets almost impossible to get the wet lens to maintain in the port when you need to use it. So this way it's securing that you get a good thread and it's a lot easier to take the lens on and off also without having to scare the small subject in front of you. Mounting it is a whole different matter. Uh, let me just take off the lens so that it's less heavy. Uh, comes off just about now. It's a simple construction and it sits around this bolt. And as you can see, the bolt is going f further down than the port. And that means if you use some of the fantasy housings that have square ports, uh, the bolt might be in the way. I know that the uh, Fantasy G7X Mark II. Um, some people find that difficult to mount. The whole point is to find the little place where the bolt sits. Uh, there's a small place that will fit and you put the bolt there and then you tighten uh, the inner ring here uh, and make sure that it, the whole thing is secure. See, there's a small uh, screw here. You take that one out and the whole thread that actually screws in is an internal ring here and this is the one that you need to tighten i'm taking it out now like that so here you have the two different uh, uh, systems or parts of the system and you just find where it needs to be be and you screw it back on until it's really really tight and then the whole trick is to screw it just tight enough so that you can see the little little little, little screw hole down here where you are putting the screw back in, because if you do not have room for this screw, then uh, there's no way that the flip will stop when it's being pushed down here. And then your wet lens is just gonna go round and round and round. So that's the system in short. Cheap, easy, affordable. Get it if you have a wet, wide, wet macro lens.